What's up, everybody? I'm Bear with BearIndependent.com. Today, we're going to be talking about my Palmetto State Armory build. Does it suck? I'll give you guys my honest opinions and data. If you're interested in supporting the show, you can go to uh, BearIndependent.com. You can sign up for Patreon there. You can buy patches, stickers, thumb drives there. You can get a shirt or something there. You can connect with other like-minded Bear Nation folks on the forums there. You can do all kinds of stuff there. You can get the podcast there. You can do all kinds of stuff at bearindependent.com. Thank you for being here. Let's talk about this Palmetto State Armory AR-15. I know, so drooly, right? Is it? Is it? Let's, uh flip this camera around and have a discussion. All right, since I know you guys are gonna ask, we'll go stem to stern on this thing and uh, I'll tell you what we got going on. Okay, this is a Fortis Red 5.56 muzzle brake down here. This is a Thor fire, not a shore fire, a Thor fire uh, lamp that was sent to me, weapons light that was sent to me by a viewer on Patreon. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a Magpul angled front grip. Magpul M bus here and here. Uh, this is a pencil barrel, stainless steel pencil barrel, um, which surprisingly is very accurate. And I've not had issues with it having a shift in the point of impact from overheating, which is great. Standard um, gas block, got your little rail right here. The fitment on this gun for a total parts from PSA, the upper and the lower, was $430-ish. Uh, incredibly good for what you get. Working our way backwards, standard 30-round PMAG Gen 2, Magpul Grip, um, Sig Sauer, Romeo 5. This whole gun is a budget gun, and that's part of what we're going to talk about. Yeah, and you're welcome for the shadows. It's tactical. You love it. Forward assist, brass deflector, rear sight, standard uh, charging handle, mil spec charging handle, mag puts, mag pull stock. Um, just a quick sling done up by our brother Cody at sojourngear.com. Quick sling for adjusting your uh, the size of your sling for if you're, you know, running armor or a rucksack or whatever, okay? It does have the um, Palmetto State Armory three and a half pound flat face trigger in it. I put that in there. I got to tell you, for a $130 trigger, it's freaking tremendous. Is it Geisley? No, but it is so much better than military specification. Okay, and yes, it's all the gun is all Boba fetted out because I use this thing. Okay, because I use this thing. So, go ahead and drop this mag, 5.56, five, yep, nothing in there, nothing in there, all right, shut up, Rooster. So, here's the deal, I got this gun for, I think the lower was like 200 bucks, and the upper was on sale with the bolt, bolt carrier group and the um, charging handle for like 220 bucks. So it's 430, 450-ish dollars there. Then on the trigger, we've got um, uh, another 130. So we'll say, <laughs> you need to die, rooster. Five, 440 and 130, 570. Uh, backup sights 650. This right here puts us at what 770. Uh, muzzle brake puts us at about 850 ish. And then the light and the sling were $900 ish into this gun, maybe 950. Yeah, on a PSA rifle. How does it run? Oh man, great. It just chugs. Most of what I do when I'm practicing is using 55 grain steel cased ammo and it does everything you want it to do. 
everything you want it to do. It, it, it just chugs. The bolt. There you go. I know the camera's in the way, whatever. We're men. Well, let's suck it up. Okay. It's a good gun for the money. Um, yeah. And I mean, you can see there's dirt and mud and cause you know, literally the last time I was shooting this weapon, it was raining. Let's go kill that rooster. Hold on. All right. My wife's outside. She didn't let me kill the rooster, but we shoot it away. Standard inside of a gun. Oh, look, an AR, okay? Standard. You know, mag release, um, bolt, bolt catch, retained pins. Got that awesome three. I mean, look at that. It's really good. That three and a half pound trigger. Standard safety, not ambidextrous. There's nothing special here. What's special here is that this gun functions i mean look at the lockup look at the, the fitment okay i'm torquing this gun right now look at the line right here okay very little wiggle and then the handguard to the upper uh none at all this thing functions great for what you want it to do it functions great I don't really know what else to say about it other than it freaking runs. It has done everything I've asked it to do. I've had no malfunctions. Is it a Daniel Defense? No. Can you see the dot in there? Is it, um, you know, a POF? No, it's not a POF. But for what it is, what it is is affordable. And it's much more likely to be the kind of weapon that somebody can actually buy and then use the difference in the cost of the weapon to buy ammo and buy training. And so I would just recommend that you at least consider a platform like this because it freaking runs. It does a great job. And um, I suppose now I have an obligation to at least shoot a mag with y'all. So let's go do that. It's a great gun. All right, nothing special. Dirt berm, paper plate staple to a pallet. PSA AR-15, we're at 10 right now. We'll back up a little bit. I'll do some quick, uh, I'll do three ups, doubles. Bang, 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 bang. Cold, haven't done any of this so far today. But, uh, yeah, bend the knees a little bit. Athletic stance. Here we go. Only brought one mag with me, so this is all the fun we're going to have today, YouTube. Beep. Clean as it ought to be. Let's go back to 25. Right about here. And uh, we'll do that again. Controlled pairs, double taps. This gets a little bit more interesting at this range because that second round isn't just hold and double squeeze. So we go, let's go a little bit closer and do some quick rounds. Let's do two strings of five. We're room clearing. This guy, he's all keyed up on Keystone Life, Keystone Light and bath salts. And we gotta take him out. We gotta take him out. Beep. 
Do one more of those. Eep. What else should we do? Triples? Do a couple triples? I mean, it's an AR. What do you want from it? It's a $400 AR with $500 worth of stuff on it. And guess what? It works. Let's go out to 50 and we'll just put some rounds at 50. Not even for time. From here to there's 100. So if I stand about halfway in between here and there, we'll be at 50. That's shy of 50. There we go. That looks right. There we go. Does it work? Oh yeah. Yeah, it works great. I think there's something to be said for having a couple of grand invested into your primary service weapon, your primary carbine, your primary SHTF rifle. But I don't think that that's an attainable goal for a lot of people. And I think it's perfectly fine to start with something like this PSA. And it runs great. Let's go look at our plate. One, two, three, not bad. I'll take it. So point here being, this platform can and will get it done. Um, I like it. I like it as much as I like certain Colt models that I've run. It does not have the cool factor of the Daniel Defense or of the POF or the... Uh, high-end SIGs or the whatever, but for what it is, it's very attainable. And the cool thing is you can start for 500 bucks and get the gun, put irons on it, run your irons, right? And then next paycheck, I'm gonna get the SIG Romeo 5 or the primary arms uh, one to eight great optic or whatever right and then the paycheck after that i'm going to get a few more magazines and i'm going to get uh, a muzzle device then the paycheck after that i'm going to put a light on there i'm going to learn the c-clamp grip and i'm going to get really good at this right and then i'm going to spray paint my rifle cool the point is it becomes attainable so it's money well spent this gun has chugged from the moment I bought it, it has just smiled and uh, taken everything that I've given to it. And I, I could not recommend it more, especially for somebody that doesn't have a couple of grand out the gate to get started. It's a good place to start. And you know what? And then if you build one like this and it runs, which it does, cool. Now you have the rifle. Learn on this platform while you're saving up to buy the Daniel Defense and then buy that one too. Now you've got two, two is one, one is none, right? And if your buddy shows up naked, hey guy, I got a rifle that you can have. So does it suck? Absolutely not. In fact, it's highly recommended by me. Shalom, y'all.